Joining us now as our closer today is Dan Rosenzweig. He's the CEO of Chegg, former chief operating officer of Yahoo. Welcome, Dan. We'll certainly hit the Chegg news, but just on this FTC story, the agency wants to deepen its understanding of large fur technology firms' acquisitions. What are they going to find? Well, it's going to be very interesting what they're going to find. I think most people don't understand that when you're a public company, you don't always need to report an acquisition that you made, depending on its level of what they determine as materiality. And if you're a giant company, you can swallow up really large companies and not have to tell anybody what you did or how you did it. You simply have to file something that says how much money you spent. So we don't really know all the different companies that these large companies have been able to buy. But it really is an unfair advantage if you think about it. The larger you are, the bigger you can buy things that are not material. So if there are private companies, you can gobble them up. You can either do it to uh, prevent competition or you can do it to advantage yourself over somebody else who can't afford to buy it. So it'll be very interesting to see what they find. But I think there's a lot there. I, are these companies buy hundreds, if not thousands, of companies that we never hear about. Wow. Now, now wait a minute. I mean, we're, we're showing bottom of your screen that it says former Yahoo COO. I mean, you were one of these big companies. Now you're a smaller company. So you think there's merit to the FTC looking into all of these deals as a still a big tech player out in the valley? Well, they weren't big tech players when I was at Yahoo, and uh, they've become big tech players. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't be able to do them. What I'm saying is I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be transparent about what they do. I don't think there's anything bad about being transparent. If you're going to buy a company, it's not bad that people understand what you bought and why you bought it, particularly if you're a public company. So for our company, when we buy something, materiality is a very small number because of the size of our company and our revenue compared to a Google or a Microsoft or an Apple. So I, I do think that these are things that were never contemplated when these laws were written. Whoever imagined we'd be seeing multiple trillion dollar market cap companies? I think it's a healthy thing to understand what should be disclosed and what shouldn't. Um, I don't know that they, they haven't done anything wrong or anything illegal or anything nefarious. It's just what the rules allowed. Well, I think we should ask the question, is it the right rule anymore?